Hello guys this time i'm traveling for a very new experience the journey starts from yashwantpura railway station and i reached pondicherry 7 am in the morning seems like entire corporate world is rushing towards their healing sessions in the weekend at pondicherry for this new experience i needed some liquid cash around 4000 और ये रहा हमारा मनी 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 सो गाइज वी हैव रीच पॉन्डिचरी एंड इट्स रियली सो हीट देर इज अ ब्यूटिफुल चर्च जस्ट आउटसाइड ऑफ द पॉन्डिचेरी रेलवे स्टेशन After quite a search I finally had to get into an auto towards my destination. It costed 400 rupees just for 12 kilometers. Yes, auto rides in Pondicherry costs you a fortune unless you share it with someone. This place where I am going to resides in the middle of the jungle and it's 5 minutes ride from the Morotandi toll plaza on the main road. My happiness knew no bounds when I came across this hut indicating you have arrived at your destination guys i have reached sadhana forest uh, it was too too much inside of the like this village and i think i am going to have detox for four continuous days living in this forest let's see how this goes yes you heard it right four days is the minimum time you should compulsorily stay here for volunteering as an indian citizen for foreigners it's 10 days Initially seeing so many different huts was confusing later i understood my home better when you find this main hut board then you have to take a left for registration first thing after the registration i was taught how to use their sustainable toilets it was kind of an eye popping experience that's the drum with the husk this is the barrel where everyone poos and there's where bad things happen and those are the instructions hanged on the wall the instruction to hygienically use the toilet so you know what you can wash who wants to wash the hands no okay it's just, it's, it's just water nothing else don't be scared yeah you can take the soap now this soap is a biodegradable soap so it doesn't harm the soil or the planet at all and uh, the entire water goes directly into the soil again So this way we are doing the water conservation. We are actually recycling the entire water. Now this is the kitchen hut, which is enormous to prepare meal for all the huge number of volunteers. And this is the main hut where every day we have our meals. Using phone here is highly prohibited. That's the magic cupboard of bananas. You can have them whenever you feel like. Volunteers' names are written on this board for their sevas for that particular day. is one of my favorite place at sadhana i completed reading a book named book love by debbie tunk this is the bathing area with a bucket and a mug and a bottle of enzyme remember you shouldn't be using your own soaps guys if you come on weekends uh, there is no much work at uh, sadhana forest you will be just um, moving around and uh, seeing through things and right now i was reading book and i am going through this forest just to show you the tour what my guide gave me the tour about the volunteer who gave me the tour like what and all places are there, there and how to access them so i'll be showing you that this is my day first at sadhana forest these architecture of hut really amazes me i really love the huts here it's very strongly built and as well as see gives to the aesthetic of the nature itself so we are approaching the kitchen guys kitchen looks so cool there are no no one around here because everyone has gone out it's a weekend so here is where this coat so guys now i'll be showing you where we will be sleeping while we are at sadhana forest so this is a little scary place but yeah this is my bed what i have got allotted and this is feels like cow shed but still it's nice to experience different things right
so one thing i got to know today about termites is that they do not feed on wood actually they feed on mushrooms uh, which is like they collect wood like the termites collect wood but they do not feed on wood they are like they just um, make space so that mushroom grows on the wood and that's why they collect it and then they eat it a 360 look from some place in sadhana forest i don't know but see how cool and calm this place looks guys now we are at a place uh, which is known as firework i mean firewood preparation place so you can see so many logs kept behind me and there's something hanging over there and this see where it is used to saw the wood so wood is cut here and it's all stored for fuel to cook food and uh, you know when monsoon arrives or the rainy season arrives they all collect so much of wood to store and which is all prepared in this location it's so cool right she's so cute come to me come to me kitty 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 oh this is the secret of poop energy these are the barrels which we saw in the toilets that has nutritive fertilizer in them I am now passing by the cow shed to go towards the mud pool. At night, we collected some logs and went our way for the moon circle in which we celebrated the full moon day around the hearth with melodious music and beautiful people. Later, huh? later, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think. So, guys, um, <clears throat> this is uh, day two, and uh, I had uh, one seva in the morning. I did this uh, breakfast preparation. Breakfast doesn't consist of uh, too many varieties. It is just fruits to be cut. So, it was at seven o'clock. It went good. I'm not able to record most of the sevas and all because we are really busy doing it. We cannot have that luxury to record all of it. Right now, we are going for lunch outside because it's not provided on Sundays. So, other than that, last night was great. Last night, we had a um, moon circle where uh, we sat in an open uh, field, like looking at the full moon. putting campfire celebrating the ceremony of full moon day and the healing process it was really good and after that i got um, sleep very well you know i just fell into this new place fell into this new bed and just slept because it's really hard for me to get sleep in the strange places but this felt like home but a little scary one though Now this is the place for washing your plates which is three dip system to prevent water wastage and also this is the place for dumping the waste in the right bin we have compost for cooked food and cow food for fruit waste and here is our natural stuff used to cook food by burning wooden logs and nothing else so many tire animals at sadhana Every day I used to go to the mud pool at Sadhana and these two ladies added beauty in my memories. There are a lot of pebbles here. Once upon a time there was pebble mining here. There are varieties of cute pebbles. This is the place where we did moon circle and now we are proceeding towards our mud pool. My favorite place at Sadhana. This is how beautiful Sadhana looks in the evening. So guys now we are heading towards the library see this library looks so cool i'm a bit scared you know just amidst the forest this library exists and that to it looks so ancient so ancient see guys It's a bit scary. I'm taking this challenge to go all alone to the library upstairs. Doesn't have light, nothing. Okay, here I'm using flashlights to show you the books we have at Sadhana Forest. 
Oh, it's so great. We do have a, you know, place, cushion-like place to sit and read. This is so sexy, guys. I love this place. I wish this was my home. You know, I could have uh, made my bedding there, which I would have made my kitchen 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 right there I guess because there's light the storage things kind of you know showcase things and yeah we can stack clothes if it was not at my library and then yeah, of course space for books there and stuff it's cool right the wish of me living in jungle, in middle of the jungle, living a life in the forest has come true. And oh god, I cannot be much more grateful than this. So guys, I'm gonna tell you about my day to experience at Sadhana Forest. Started with breakfast preparation as I told in the morning. Then after that, um, we had a community meeting which happens on Sundays where you get to the um, orientation day you get to know all the principles or the guidelines of Sadhana Forest and then we went for a lunch outside because it's not provided on Sundays and then after we ret returned from the lunch we went into the mud pool we stayed for three hours and it was best days of my life one of the best days I can tell because we were only three girls and it was kind of you know sharing so many things it was great i think tough days are going to start from tomorrow because save us in the weekdays i'm yet to experience how it will be tomorrow if i will be able to shoot something let's see i hope i can shoot few experiences or i'm allowed to shoot but let's see how it goes and uh, it's evening in sadhana forest um, I'm exploring here you're left to do whatever you want and you know what I want to talk about another experience last night we had a moon circle and I saw a lot of fireflies while walking towards that uh, that area where we did that moon circle it was like I'm some magical world I'm in some magical world so this was about two days at sadhana more exciting experiences coming in your way in the next video. Until then, keep thinking. See you.